hey everyone and welcome back to my channel for another video today's video is going to be mainly me cleaning the kitchen deep cleaning it as much as i can and i hope that you all enjoy if this is your first time by my channel i just want to say welcome my name is cleosha i am a wife and a mom of four and i do clean motivational videos just to help you out throughout the week so today's video is special because this will be uploaded on Christmas Eve and I hope that it gives you tons and tons of cleaning motivation so that you can get your house together before Christmas. Also, I want to throw this clip in here of my baby doing her little dance. She has been dancing a lot lately so whenever some music come on she just hops right on the beat and she gets down. Also in today's video, I will be using a new machine. It is called a steam shot. And I really like this little machine. Um, the only thing about it is you have to keep on filling it up with water because the, I guess the, the thing is not so big. But it did do a great job. I will show you the before and after of me cleaning out the window seal. I will be cleaning out the table and the chairs, the stove, the microwave, the fridge, and everything else that I could think of. And I really hope that you all enjoyed today's video. If you do, please don't leave without giving this video a thumbs up. And if you are new by here and you are thinking of subscribing, go ahead and subscribe. I have plenty of clean and motivation videos coming your way. And let's get into it. So I always like to show you all what I'm using and today I will be using this Comet Sauce Cleanser to clean out the stove. I will be putting this in and kind of letting it do its thing. I will be mixing it with some baking soda and it did a very good job today and I was super satisfied with how it came out. I think it's something similar to the soft scrub. That's what I was looking for but I couldn't find it so I'm just using this instead and it did a great job. So now I'm moving on to the sink. I'm going to go ahead and wash the few dishes that I had in here. And after I finish this, I'm going to go ahead and wipe out the dish rack holder. This dish rack holder came from Amazon. I get a lot of questions about this. One of my subscribers sent this to me and I don't have the link. I always forget to put it in the description box, but I will have to go and find it. It came from Amazon. I do know that you can find it when you look up gray and white dish rack holder. So that may help. Also, I'm going to go ahead and wash the dishes, put them away because I want to go ahead and clean out the sink. I will be using a mixture that my mom told me about, but I think everybody is known to it now. It's just some vinegar and baking soda, and I'm going to put some hot, hot water down the sink. That's just to clean and deodorize it and make sure that it's nice and clean. And also, don't quote me on this, but I think it's supposed to help out with nets. So if you do this, I think once, um, like every two weeks or so, it should help out. You are never true to heart. You need me when it's getting dark Got it all, babe Say it once when you're ready I'm here when you need me I'm yours if you let me Got it all, babe Say it once when you're ready I'm here when you need me I'm yours if you let go Have to 
going to remove everything from off the countertops because I want to go ahead and give them a nice cleaning. I do clean the bottom all the time, but the top I don't really clean as much. So I'm going to make sure that I clean everything today. I will be using my Lysol kitchen spray. This spray has become one of my favorites. I do love to use Lysol because I know it disinfects and I have four kids. So I like to make sure that all of my surfaces are nice and clean and disinfected all the time because my kids love to put their hands on stuff. And I have a one year old that loves to put stuff in her mouth. So I'm just gonna use this and I will also be using the yellow bottle of Lysol just to disinfect and make sure that everything is clean. Okay, so now I'm moving on to our table and we have not been sitting here as much But I am gonna go ahead and use the kitchen Lysol just to clean it off make sure that it's disinfected But for the bottom of the table and the chairs I will be using my bleach cleaner because I want everything to look nice and clean And once I use this on the bottom of the table and the chairs, it looked like it was brand new I just was not certain of how much stuff was under these tables and chairs. It was a lot y'all like when I say a lot It was like a whole 360 
be love oh, in for some more anything comes along oh forever high above the kind of feeling of letting go and go free fall and living on top of the world blue skies and night swims never keeping track of time sun and skin driving and the light can be so i don't really use the bleach cleaner often because it's so strong but i will be using it in today's video and i mainly use it in our bathrooms let me know down in the comments if you all like to use the Clorox cleaner. It is a great cleaner. You just have to be mindful that it's super strong. Now I'm moving on to the corner that's over here. I usually keep stuff over here when I have too much of it around the house. I just leave it over here in the corner. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put everything away. I did have space for it in my refrigerator, but I did put the potatoes, just left them on the side over there. I will be cleaning off the deep freezer as well because we do touch this a lot. So I will be using my kitchen Lysol for this and a microfiber cloth. this in my last video but i do use this kitchen lights off for mostly everything in the kitchen i will be using it to wipe down my refrigerator this refrigerator is i love it but it just it do have a lot of fingerprints on it a lot so it's just like a stainless steel refrigerator to me it's just black so i will be using the kitchen lights off to clean this down my cabinets and i did use it for my sink like a piece of paper gone and won't be found and ooh, cause you were not, you were not, you were not wrong. And ooh, cause we are not, we are not, we are not one. I think a lot of time when we clean our stove, we always forget about the hood. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean off the hood. Mine wasn't so bad so because I do clean it a lot. I'm just going to go ahead and clean off the stove with my kitchen lifestyle spray. And the stove top wasn't bad. I try to make sure I stay on top of that. And I also lifted the hood a while back because I had to clean out some of the grease stains that were inside so it won't be on fire. <laughs> and I cleaned that out, so I didn't clean that on today's video. But I'm going in, cleaning the oven, and you will see how it just magically like disappeared. I do have some really tough stains in the stove because I just started cleaning out the oven um, not too long ago. Like I just thought the oven would clean itself, I guess. I had been just using the oven, wasting and stuff and just not cleaning it so i'm just going in with some microfiber cloths and i'm just adding water to them and just cleaning it off Blown out the last ray and buried us 
so I'm almost done with this video, but I did want to say this. I am cleaning the kitchen, but we will not be cooking in the kitchen for Christmas. I am going to be going by my dad's house for Christmas Eve, and we will be celebrating with them. Um, and then when Christmas Day comes, we will be back at home, but I won't cook. I hopefully will have some leftovers, but I did want to make sure that my kitchen was nice and clean because we be in here a lot. And if you have been following me for a while, then you know I cook a lot. So I have to make sure that my kitchen is nice and clean. The kids love to be around the refrigerator and inside and outside. So I just like to make sure that everything is disinfected. Now I do use the awesome spray as well, but I'm not using it in today's video because I just want to make sure that I disinfected everything. Ooh, ooh, you, ooh, ooh. Let me hold you, close your eyes. We'll be reaching paradise. So when I'm using a steam shot, this is not a sponsored video. I just want to talk about this a little bit. I am using some Lysol disinfectant spray at first, and then I'm coming in behind it with the steam shot. As you can see, you can see the dirt moving around like this thing did wonders for under here because a lot of stuff be stuck under here and I don't often clean it so the mop don't get it as well. I just want to make sure that I go in and make sure that everything is nice and clean under here. Then I'm moving on to the window sill, and you can see that this was a hot, hot mess. Junior wanted to come in and help me out, so he's going to spray, and then I'm going to go in behind him and clean it out with this microfiber cloth. I didn't have it wet. It was just a dry towel, just trying to get everything from out of here, and I will show you the before and after, after I'm done. I hear you breathe, but I can't see. If you're right here next to me, something's wrong, wasn't it fun? Is it now we're done? You get dressed, I'm like a mess. And you tell me to confess, and you tell me to confess. Oh, I don't know what to say, what to do, how to make you see. This is nothing in real life, it might just have been a bad dream. You can run, you can hide, but you can't put the blame on me Because you're acting like a volcano Tending to be my savior Nothing you do can save us, save us Because you're acting like a volcano And make me feel outrageous You keep teasing me But you're nothing I would Never look back, now we're over so the last thing I'm going to be doing is cleaning off the floors. I'm going to be using my Oceda mop and bucket. Whenever I get ready to mop my floors, my formula never changes. I have hot water and some Fabuloso and some um, laundry detergent, whichever one I'm using. So that's what I'm going to be using to clean off the floors. I don't know what to say, I don't know what to say, what to do, how to make you see. This is nothing in real life, it might just... I really hope that you all enjoyed today's video. I want to say Merry Christmas to you all, and I hope that you have a safe and blessed holiday. I will see you in our next video, which will be on Friday, but I will have a vlog up on Tuesday showing you what we did for Christmas and how I prepared myself for Christmas. And I hope that you all follow us over there to watch. Bye.